we published a paper with human data finding that when humans were in ketosis, the metabolic rate of their white fat from their belly went up three times, it wow. tripled. And so now imagine the power of combining a low carb state or intermittent fasting with cold therapy. Now you are taking the metabolic machine that's been put into motion as kind of a basal state with the diet and then getting this trigger. Three, four minutes in that ice bath, you may have initiated a response that's going to go for three or four hours. I think we feel that. Oh, I sure do. Most people have to go super low carb for at least 16 or 17 hours to reach a ketogenic state. And I think if they're not going in with some metabolic flexibility, if they've never been in ketosis, it might even be longer, yep. two, three days. Agreed. But I think there's also an exception, and the exception is the cold plunge. Yeah. When you get into the cold plunge, your liver will release glycogen stores. You've activated the sympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system. And so you're getting ready for that fight or flight. But it's a temporary glucose spike. Mm -hmm. Either brown fat or shivering in your muscles will clear that glucose out of your bloodstream. And almost immediately, the white fat cells will release lipids into the bloodstream to replace that fuel source yeah. for thermogenesis. As part of that cold thermogenesis, ketones will be produced.